Hey there, Tarek here, and this is the HP Tango printer. It currently costs 180 Canadian dollars before tax at both Staples and Amazon.ca. So in the box, you get obviously the actual printer itself, which is pretty small. And then you have the base tray that holds the papers as they come out the printer. Then you have your paperwork. And I was pleasantly surprised to find that printer ink actually comes with the printer by default. And you get your power cord and you also get your warranty. I really wanted to like this printer, but it has some major flaws that might be a deal breaker for you as they were for me. The big flaws are the following. Number one, no scanning. This is strictly just a printer. You cannot scan documents using this machine in any way. I knew it didn't have a photocopier because you can clearly tell that this device isn't even as wide as a letter or A4 piece of paper and there's no space for a photocopier, but I thought it might be possible to scan documents through the same paper feeder as the printer, but I was wrong. And the second reason, there is no double-sided printing built into this printer. The only way to print double-sided on this printer is so involved and it feels like such a hack in this day and age. So I had to Google how you would do this. I'll link the step-by-step -step guide down below if you're interested. But basically to print double-sided, what you're going to have to do is first print all the odd pages. And then what you're gonna wanna do is take all those printed pages, put them back in the paper feeder backwards, and then print on all the even pages so that you'll get the double-sided printing effect. As opposed to most other printers where you just put your paper in, click double-sided on your computer, and then it'll print your documents double-sided. Reason number three I don't think you should buy this printer is the papers aren't stored internally in the printer. Although this printer looks really small compared to most, you have to take a few things into consideration. Most printers store their papers like this, inside an internal compartment, some sort of hidden tray. But for the Tango, you either have to keep the lid open and your papers just sitting there on the open flap, taking away from the small size benefit of the HP Tango, or you could just take the paper out, close the lid and put them aside. But then again, this takes away from the small size that might have been the reason that you wanted to buy this printer in the first place. Reason number four, it comes with a tray that goes under the printer to stop papers from flying out. But the tray isn't attached to the printer, it just sits under it, making you think that if you have some sort of table room in front of your printer, then you don't really need the tray to catch the papers, right? But you'll quickly find out, as I did, that the papers freaking fly out of this printer when it prints them out. So the tray is literally necessary. And even when you do use the tray, it feels like it barely catches the paper. And it looks very flimsy, and the first paper often makes an impact on this hinge, which just feels like a bad design since it could dent your paper and look less professional if you were, for example, to print a resume. Um, another thing I dislike about the tray is that if your printer is on the edge of a table, then it's easy to pull out the tray, but if it's far back inside a table and not on the edge, you'll have to pry it out with your fingernail, which is just a bad design in my opinion, and it's not very comfortable to do. Reason number five, you cannot install the ink cartridges when the printer is off since they're tucked away on the side, but when you turn it on, they move into view. Why? <laughs> Reason number six, it installs an app on your Windows computer when you set it up. This might seem like a nitpick, but I don't like any unnecessary software being installed on my computer if I can avoid it. And it seems like the main purpose of this application on Windows is to get you to sign up for an account uh, for HP, and I don't like that either. Reason number seven, it does not have an ethernet port. You cannot connect it directly to your router, so every time you change your Wi-Fi password, you'll have to reconnect it to the Wi-Fi again. A small but valid annoyance in my opinion. Reason number eight. It has no USB ports of any kind, not USB-A or USB-C. For me, this is a deal breaker because sometimes you need to print things last minute and you can't always rely on a wireless connection. So it's always good to have a wired connection option as a fail-safe backup. Reason number nine, the power button is on the back of the device. I get that it looks cleaner by not having a button on the front, but having to do the reach around again and again is just a bad design in my opinion. Having a circle on the front would not have hurt the design language of this device that much, 
and I think it would have been far more convenient. Reason number 10, the printer feels a little bit cheap. For the price, you might expect a high quality printer, but when I first plugged in the power cable, it had some play to it. Also, the top lid has some wiggle room, which again made this device feel a little cheap in my opinion. And the fact that it had room to wiggle around didn't give me the confidence that this printer would last several years, which you probably want a printer to last several years since printers aren't a very exciting piece of tech that you want to buy over and over and it's not something that you constantly want to upgrade. You want it to just work and you want it to last. So far, I've only talked about the negatives of this printer, so now let's talk about some of the positives. Number one, you can print single-sided documents very quickly, especially black and white. This thing is relatively fast, which is definitely good. Positive number two, it looks relatively pretty. It's a very attractive piece of tech. If you have a mostly white room, this will blend in much more nicely than most other printers. So having a white printer and white walls in your room could help match your aesthetic if that's what you're going for. And when the paper tray and the flap are closed, it is pretty small and less obtrusive looking than most printers. Positive number three, it has a QR code on the inside that lets you download the app needed to set it up quickly. It will connect to your phone easily via Bluetooth and it will connect to your other devices quickly as well. Whether that's a Mac or a PC, it's a very painless process to get this printer to connect to your devices. And honestly, that's it for the pros. You'll notice that I had 10 negatives and three positives about this printer. I wanna make it clear that I'm not trying to slander HP for this device. I really hope they make a Tango 2 or something that's better designed and that addresses these flaws because I was genuinely excited to buy this thing until I started using it. I found out about this device because when I was on Instagram scrolling through stories several months ago, I saw an ad for this product and that ad depicted how this printer won't make your room look ugly because it looks sleek, modern, and it's small. And HP, whoever does your advertising, they did a good job because it reached the right target target who was willing to buy it based on the unique selling proposition, but whoever designed the product itself uh, made it lack so many features that I have no choice but to return it in the next few days. Thankfully I bought this device from a nearby Staples with a good return policy. I didn't expect that I would need to use it, but this printer is just not for me and does not fulfill my needs for a printer and the other features that I personally require. But if you, the person watching this, just needs a small sleek printer and you never need to scan or photocopy and never do double-sided printing, at least not in a rush, uh, and you don't mind the design quirks that this printer has, then this might still be an okay buy for some people. But I'd imagine that for most people, the saying stands true, form follows function. Anyways, if this video was helpful, please consider liking and subscribing. And also, thank you so much for watching and have a wonderful day. Bye.